Hi guys and welcome to Hair Dry Treatment with me, Sophie. Thank you all again for tuning in. I know it's been a while since I've recorded, I've been ill. Um, I'm getting there, I'm feeling a bit better. You can probably hear my voice, I'm still a little bit rough. I'm actually saying even deeper than I normally do. Um, but yeah, I'm back and this is a preview video for the Brighton against Man United game. Now, you may see on my Twitter, I was asking a few people if they could share their prediction for the game, what they think their lineup's going to be, who they think is going to score, and what their score prediction is going to be for this game. A lot of people are saying that this game is pointless, it's a bit of a filler, um, building up for the FA Cup final, which it is, I'd agree with that. However, at the end of the day, we want to get as many points as possible. You could argue that Liverpool aren't going to be that bothered about it as they're obviously focusing now on the Champions League, and why should they not? Which is fair enough. So, for me, let's get as many points on the board as we can. I am expecting a few changes. Um, but before I say what I think is going to happen, let's have a look what you guys think. Check out some of my followers and some fellow Man United fans and their predictions for this game tonight. Come on, United. Hi, this is Alex. And that was it. Uh, so, I had to... No, I'm gonna Come on, you're right, lads. How you doing? Um, why have I gone scouts? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sander Seegers, presenter on that football. I'm moving up in the world, you see. Living in Madrid. Uh, talk about living in Madrid. Lovely weather. Pesky mosquitoes, though, nipping at the face. Anyway, this weekend, or Friday even, Friday night football, what's that all about? Anyway, Brichton, as I like to call them, never called them that in my life, Brighton versus Manchester United. Bit of a filler game, isn't it? It's a bit of a nothing game, but regardless, you know, Brighton, they're not safe yet. They want to get a few points on the board. Um, also, us, obviously, United, we've got um, we've got Chelsea coming up on the 19th of May, so we're going to be wanting to build as much momentum towards that as possible. Um, I was thinking about playing a few youth players. Not that I've got any power and influence on it, but I would like to see a few youth players played. But then again... Like I said, we want to build as much uh, momentum uh, up before that Chelsea game. But Lukaku's injured, you know. Uh, it's a, you know reported that he's going to be okay for the um, what's his name, the Rent Boys. Sorry, the Chelsea game, uh, the FA Cup final. But I just rest him for this game. Rest him. We've got nothing games coming up before that anyway. So rest him and um, yeah, have a rest, Romelu. Uh, so I'd like to see Rashford up front, Martial on the left. Uh, and Sanchez on the right, um, but yeah, it's not a massive game, is it? But I'll watch it nonetheless. Thanks, everyone. My prediction. I haven't thought about this one. Uh, Three-one Manchester United with Martial scoring an hat trick, uh, and then I'll wake up and Sanchez will score all of them. Anyway, moving on. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll speak to you all soon. I hope everyone's having a good little summer, or at least I am. You know, lovely bit of weather in Madrid. Anyway, thanks everyone, and I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Um, Man United's game this Friday against Brighton. I'm going to have to go with a 4 0 win. I think that Lingard, Sanchez, Rashford, and Martial are going to have a good game. So I think we can take all three points and uh, we'll keep a clean sheet as well. 4 0 United. Oh, hello everybody. I'm just, I'm just listening to a bit of a classic ABBA. Um, I've been asked to do this for Sophie. Uh, I'm going to do my preview for the Brighton game. 3-0 uh, is my prediction for Manchester United in this game. Um, I've got no confidence behind that at all. I don't know what the starting eleven is going to be. Brighton need a result. If this was at Old Trafford, I'd probably be less confident. But I think United play much better away from Old Trafford for some weird reason. I think we will express ourselves. Maybe it's because when we're away from home, teams have a go at us and the pressure's off a little bit. So I think I, I just got a funny feeling if he picks the right team tomorrow, i.e. you see Lingard, Rashford and Martial starting, I think we might see a more expressive United. So 3-0, defenders, as Jose said, are playing for World Cup places, so no Eric Bay, but that might you know focus minds a little bit. So 3-0, Manchester United, and I'm going to listen to a little bit more of Dancing Queen. See you later. What's happening guys, you're locked into the hair dry treatment. This is Flex here, I'm going to give you my prediction 
um, for the Brighton game tomorrow. Joe mm, say going to maybe ring in a few changes. Obviously, we should have second place sewn up. Yes, we still need to get a couple more points on the board, but I'm sure we will. Lukaku's obviously out injured, so it's probably going to be Rashford through the middle. I'd love to see Martial through the middle. Um, definitely, obviously, see Martial start in the absence of Lukaku somewhere. Um, but um, I think it'll be a comfortable win. I think it will be a 2 0 win I'm going to go for. Um, I can't see us losing the game. I can't see us dropping points. I think we're solid at the minute. We're in good form. Um, and it's all about, it's all about that FA Cup final for me. I just want to get players through um, uninjured, nice and fresh, ready for it. But you know, there is still a little bit of business to take care of. Liverpool clearly don't care about the Premier League, they don't care about finishing second and why should they do in the Champions League final to be fair. Um, so I think there's probably more, more points to be dropped there, they've got to play Chelsea next so I'm predicting a very comfortable win for Man United, 2-0. Scorers, uh, I think Alexis will still play. Um, I'm going to go for Alexis to score and Martial if he starts. But yeah, that's my prediction, thanks for watching. Make sure you lot subscribe to the Hair Dry Treatment. Thanks. Although it's yes, it's a filler game and everyone's not feeling too excited about it. At the end of the day, United are playing. I love to see United play. And most people are feeling confident that we're going to get the three points tonight, even though we don't really need it. And we'll probably make a few changes to the team. Um, and I'm going to go with those predictions. I agree with that. I think that United are going to win tonight. I'm going to go with... Why is it not doing too bad, are they, to be fair? So I'm going to say a 2-1. 2-1 United win um, for tonight's game. I think Martial is going to play, he's going to score, and I'm going to go with a goal for Martial and a goal for ooh, Alexis. Martial and Alexis goals, 2 1 win, um, 2 United, and another three points for the league. And uh, yeah, that's my prediction. Drop a comment, let me know yours. Most people are feeling pretty confident that the away team United are going to get the three points tonight, and I'm certainly on board with that. Um, let's hope Jose makes a few changes. If Lukaku out, he's got to put someone else up front. Fingers crossed that Martial is given that shot. But who knows, um, but fingers crossed, Martial given a start nonetheless um, to prove a point and show us what he can do, what, what we all know he can do. Um, and he needs to prove, to be honest, that he's not just a 20 minute man, he's a 90 minute man and he needs to show us that he can do it in a game. So fingers crossed, 2-1 United, that's my prediction, let me know yours and thank you all for tuning in. I am back, I promise, I know I've vanished because I've been ill, but I promise you there'll be more uploads on my channel next week, starting with me recording um, at my game against Leicester on Sunday. Um, as you know, I'm recovering from my injury. Fingers crossed that I'll get some more minutes this weekend. And yeah, check out my channel, Hair Dry Treatment. If you haven't already, please subscribe and drop a like and drop a comment and I'll respond to as many as possible. Come on United, thank you all and thanks to everybody who submitted a video and helped me out with this fan um, preview. I really do appreciate your support. As always, you guys have made my channel what it is today and if it wasn't for you lot, hair dry treatment would be nowhere near as big as it is getting right now. So thank you so much. Fingers crossed for free buds for United tonight. Have a lovely bank holiday weekend and I'll chat to you all soon. Thank you guys.